Wanderbot, what are you saying in my chat? I just read that. Bird, <laughs> our video has almost 700 views. Our video? Yes. Your video. Our video. <laughs> Your video. <laughs> Your fucking I don't think joke. He, he couldn't have made I'm... it without you, man. I'm a unwilling participant. I'm a hostage in that video. <laughs> Do you video. still not know what the video is? It's... I saw Solid Snake, and I saw the word fish, so I know exactly what it was. <laughs> yeah. I... So, I know we never did the EDF thing, or, uh, we never got around to <laughs> you it. You want to do that? Well, no, Instead. like, at, 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 no, at some point I'd actually love to sit down and do, do the EDF thing. A fan sent in the MIDI, whatever the fuck's... But somebody okay. with music software has to figure out how to use it. Dude, somebody sent me a remix of uh, Butterface, and all we needed to do was uh, put some vocals on top of it, and I never did that. We're bad. I still feel super guilty about that one, but oh, right it was also now. a Purple Phantom joke. Or Buttercrack, that's what it was. I don't, I don't know how to use the file I have. It's a MIDI, right? I don't know. I forget okay. what it's called. It's been a while now. <laughs> <laughs> I, sent you, I sent it to you a few times over the last few months. And by few, I mean like eight. <laughs> like the last eight months, probably. Yeah. Paused? Why is the yeah, Wander's busy uh, taking himself a piddle. Oh. Oh, we didn't even start yet. I was yeah. under the impression that uh, you guys were doing we were stuff starting really me. late. No, no, no. It no. was... Uh, so I told Keith when I would arrive, and in my mind, that meant I told everyone when I arrived, and then I got here and was like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> I told Keith when I was planning on showing up tonight, and and in my mind, that meant that I told everyone when I was planning on showing up, and then I realized when I got here, I was like, oh, I didn't tell anybody but Keith. <laughs> I figured I I'd just hang them. out, and somebody would tell me. Yeah, good call. Uh, That's so... exactly what happened. So, Wanderbot, um, I, when uh, when Keith uh, joins, you should copy that file. See if uh, he appears. Oh, yeah. He already copied it somewhere. No, I mean after Keith is actually in the game. Oh. It's like he, he was missing. <laughs> right. Why is it paused? Um, because I'm waiting for people to get in, and now I'm trying to go get, uh, the Keith save file. Oh. Oh. Is, uh, is Keith, Keith in? Is Keith in? No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Alright, I just punched the microphone directly. <laughs> Good job. I do that Keith, not Keith, uncommonly. Keith, 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 Keith. Are you all okay? No, I have my brain is operating at seventy-five percent of the oxygen that it should be. I That's am fine. delirious with hunger. That's actually pretty good. Well, I had a Burn. nice dinner with family. <laughs> oh right, somebody has family. Yeah, I have family too. They just don't live, and I'd have to buy plane tickets. There's Keith. Keith, why don't you? Why aren't you married yet? Why don't you have any grandkids? Keith, I want to have grandchildren. Grandchildren, Keith, I want to have them. Children that are made by your children. I, I want them have to exist. Your grandchildren. But wouldn't that make him a grandfather and, and go her create, a great grandfather? Go create I mean, no. some studs and farm <laughs> them out so they can ha they can breathe. <laughs> Go inject your fluid into. I'm talking about into... you having children, oh and then, then those children <laughs> getting fucked. <laughs> wow, Grandma, why are you so weird and explicit? <laughs> so what happened to all the uh, crops? It's I fall, thought we dude. fixed this. It's fall. I, I thought we fixed I... this last time we played. Yeah. No, 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 oh we were... right, we did, and then I died. No, Let's play the game. I slept for. Let's play the hours. game of can Keith identify which things are you're allowed to hit. Oh, I don't have my season scythe. change. Just use the scythe. It'll. it'll I, work I don't out. have oh. it with me. Well, oh. then poop on you. Well, I guess okay. I'm gonna start Whatever's hoeing fetish, out man. spots. I just mean because when I last season change, I, I got in trouble. Not things. <laughs> oh, right. Gotta go get my hoe. Berkey, do me a favor. No. Okay. What do you need? 
I need to hear your best Jewish grandmother you, impression. See, this is what I thought a tree you farm just got would like. like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I the need other you to give me grandchildren. Oh, wait, wait. They're already a grandmother. I need to give me more grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> These ones you are know, old Gerald now. Three isn't enough. I need <laughs> I need more grandchildren. These ones got old and they spell bad. <laughs> they sp all right, they all spell, right. mad. spell bad and smell bad. <laughs> <laughs> Those children are your children are stupid. They're shitty wizards. <laughs> now I need you to do something else for me, bird. Yeah, what do you need? <laughs> I want you to mix that with an Australian accent. <laughs> oh, I need you to give me some grandchildren. I mean, there are Jewish Australians uh, in reality. What, like three? <laughs> but like that set, like the, the the Jewish grandmother voice. They actually say, you know what? Just say "crikey" in a Jewish yeah, grandmother voice. Ba that, that's crikey. Based on, <laughs> based on I didn't get away my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Based on Bird's basic survival <laughs> senses, I, I can't imagine uh, his people have an easy time with all those spiders. No. They're very scary. The scary spiders. Oh, God. Dude, I, uh, back when we were starting out, I had some, I had more Australian YouTube buddies. Grandchildren? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we we never so, found the fourth scroll, right? Uh, no, we're still working on that. We need clay, or can I throw it away? Uh, we need clay. Okay. Yeah. We need tons of clay. Yeah. Okay. So, if it says material in the name, no, 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 no. Or resource. Yeah. If it has a name, just don't <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> okay. Basically, just throw away the glasses. Yeah. Luck is yeah. and the broken CDs. Luck is really good today, by the way. Oh, good. Oh. I accused of an Australian voice actor of not being Australian. <laughs> oh. Why would you I just, do this? I was playing Fear Effect Sedna, and the voice acting so terrible that I was convinced it was just a bunch of random white dudes from the United States that were just being told, like, you're French and you're Australian. Because <laughs> it just sounds <laughs> like not even close to anything. But apparently it's just a voice actor that's so bad that he doesn't even sound like his, re his own accent's real. All right, so what are we picking up? Oh, we're picking up pumpkins, or we're picking up uh, cranberries. Yeah. Cranberries. Cranberries for the money, pumpkins for the love. Yeah. And all right. Be hoeing up all that dirt, looking for that scroll. Damn it! I left my hoe at home. Oh the, no! I'm the hoeinator. There was just a, a thing to hoe up at the beach, and its name is Elliot. <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> God! That was smooth. Oh my God. <laughs> See, we don't need bok choy. We don't need. Nope. You said, you said, you said floor eighty. All right. And berries. Floor eighty and is. above. Yes. Farewell, money. Wow. Goodbye, wow. money. Wow. Goodbye. It's gone. Goodbye. Oh my God! It is totally gone. Wow. There was like fifty grand there. Yeah. Well, now we have two hundred and one cranberry seeds and about twenty-five cranberries. Pumpkin seeds. Cranberries. Cranberries. We want to <laughs> speed grow the cranberries, right? Uh, we probably just want to fertilize them. The problem is speed grow, okay. if we lose 10% of the crop, well, I guess it works out about Too late, I'm fertilizing. I'm yeah, spreading my fertilizer. I'm pooping. Who are you, I'm pooping on everything. <laughs> Whoa, Keith. Chill out with the hot political takes Oh there. my goodness. Hmm. Alright. God, I'll, I'll always remember when I... Andrew and I watched uh, Food Incorporated, which is supposed to make you feel really scared about, like, food industry in the United States. But we just kept laughing, <laughs> and it's because the, they, they sound like like they're, they're like seed agents that'll track you down if you're using illicit seeds. And it's like it's oh you my can't God. not laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's impossible to take seriously. Ah, oh, I'm a seed agent. I, I guess there was a problem where people would grow seeds. their the people would be growing like GMOs, and then this, the the crop would spread to other people's farms. Yo, like, yeah, you know, people like will. nature people does. People be growing those GMOs. Yeah, because that's because <laughs> that's what seeds were designed for in the first place. <laughs> and that would happen, and they'd get like sued for growing I, their crops illegally. But it's like they I literally just you're doing found their way over illegal planting. I think that I'm ended so, up I'm being sorry a court that case. Our I'm sorry the life forms that we created together are fucking. Yeah, <laughs> I think that I think that went to court, and the uh, the Monsanto end result. One. Uh, was it? 
I think I, it, I'm pretty I, sure I was, Monsanto won pretty handily about that. I always sort just of stuff. assume the sad thing is what happened. Yeah, I I thought there were, there might <laughs> be multiple resolutions. I just remember I I swear there was a court court case with Monsanto where people were suing Monsanto for having their I'm crops sure pollinating their Monsanto plants. Monsanto gets sued constantly. Oh yeah. Give me that lucky fish. I'm just give me I'm that lucky fish. I'm still just digging the idea of like a cyber. A cyberpunk dystopia where you play as a detective <laughs> who's like, right. like just harassing farmers. Your well, plants you just... cross, your plants crossbreed, and you're getting sued over it, and you're just like, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the farmer is all cyberpunky. He's got like <laughs> the sprinklers for hands. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I need to make this shit post. <laughs> if only I didn't have zero self confidence. Okay, oh, no. I'm getting nothing but sardines. But you said luck was up. Whenever I post on Reddit, Reddit yells uh, at me. I'm gonna go to sleep for a little while because I'm out of stamina to uh That's, that's fine. Uh, did you, water. Did, do you crappies. have the uh, fertilizer? Or I fertilized every tile that we have enough no, fertilizer for. No, you missed. For. You missed some. Well, we ran out of fertilizer. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh okay. I just said it like an idiot because I emphasized <laughs> the wrong words and put them in the wrong <laughs> order. Well, it's fine. We've got we've got a stupid amount of sap anyway. We're so. all there. Proud of you. Sea cucumber. I got a sea cucumber. Yep. And my day started similarly because I I cleaned up the season change, but that led to re bed rest being mandatory before 11 a.m. Hey, turf. Hey, me. If you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber. Ha. Aww. <coughs> oh God, I'm dying! Wow, he's, he's trying saying, not to vomit. He's from saying he wants to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> kind of on His, the top. Was that of... the was that the health toll that that complimenting Durf took on you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm drinking a protein shake, and uh, but just, those things are chocolate. Oh so my yeah, God. just so protein you're, powder. So you're just chewing went in my a esophagus. protein shake. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh man, we have so bird. We have exactly a perfect amount. Like, no... Oh shit, we got a bonus spot. It must burn! Is drinking a protein <laughs> shake like... like right, there uh, we go. I've erased Does the... Like I've, that? I've erased the aberration. Dude, I don't know what Soylent tastes like, but I'm assuming it tastes like ass. It just tastes like like solid chalk with an aftertaste of... Uh, yeah. It why would, like why would anybody trust a drink like... It's, it's named not even made after by a doctor. Horror movie, basically. It's, it's named after a fucking. <laughs> it's it, named it's a, after a plot twist of a horror movie. A computer scientist came up with it. It's not even a nutritionist or a doctor invented Soylent. It's like some dude I, I, who <laughs> just programmed a lot and didn't want to eat. Like what the hell? I tried okay. it live during uh, from Marty's stash. I tried it during uh, Divinity Original Sin one playthrough live, and it did not go well. If you want to drink like a meal replacement. Then just blend your meal. <laughs> yeah, or, or get <laughs> Jevity, you know, the and thing that they use in hospitals. <laughs> the thing that was invented by doctors for the explicit okay. purpose of doing what Soylent nah, does. Silicon Valley wants to rule the world, and they don't care about ethics or whether things actually work. Uh, some people care about ethics. I am not one of those people. I took a, I took a class in computer ethics. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was actually a class that was offered. And I was like, that I mean, we actually do emphasize uh, that sounds easy because I'm always science. right, and I was education. Like, uh, for example, there was um, a series of X-ray machines that were invented in like the late '80s, early '90s, or something like that. That um, basically, there's a bug in the code, and ten or eleven people died because the uh, X-ray machine basically just laser beamed uh, through people's bodies with it. Oh, and um. nobody was able to figure out what was going on. And then they were <laughs> like, oh, the x-ray machine has a bug in it that kills people. <laughs> and uh, moral the moral of the story is that we learn about that basically in every computer science class. As like, by the way, you're making code, but your code can and will kill people if you fuck it up. Yay. By the way, this whole thing where I'm hoeing random pieces of dirt I find in the danger in the danger dungeon, it feels like a prank. It feels like I'm you're pranking me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, Finding the fourth it, door it scroll definitely is one feels of, like It's not a drop there, dude. Finding it the fourth door scroll feels like you're lying to me about this whole uh, thing. Dude, I'm literally working. doing it right now. Okay. 
We I'm need literally, a... I'm eating a cave carrot. Hold on. Do we do we need a, a sea Eat. cucumber for a collection? No, I already took no. it in. I'm going all the way back because I'm out of energy. Like, Either... I, I'm not so punking you about the fourth Do we need a blackberry? Scroll. I don't no. believe you. Okay. We I don't think don't so. need the blackberry. We turned it in because uh, we got one on as a fluke from the uh, cave of fruit. We do need a sea urchin. No, no, we don't need a sea urchin. We need red cabbage and a duck feather. Well, duck feather is easy. Got to figure out the uh, cabbage. <laughs> Make a coop. <laughs> Buy a duck. Interesting sounds. Uh, that's not how out. you get a. That's not how you get a red cabbage. Unless ducks no. have weird byproducts. <laughs> huh. Which part of the two things you listed do you think I was responding to? I said, the duck I feather said the, or the cabbage? I said the duck feather was easy, and then you kept going, and I was like, I mean... Raccoon on a stick. Excuse me for building a rapport with you. <laughs> but you weren't listening to me. Yeah. I was building the rapport, not exercising the rapport. <laughs> it's fucking different. Un unrelated, but uh, Keith had said uh, people get mad when he posts on Reddit or something like that. So I posted our D&D story from last night on Reddit. Mm -hmm. and, and then it was that a lot one of guy positive. got real mad. One guy was real that, pissed. One guy talked to you like you were committing a sin. Yeah. I gotta read this. It It's a ma magic thread. You know, a lot of people are nice and friendly. Uh, you know, as normal. Like, and one guy was what, like, what's up, you right? fucked up. And you ruined the campaign letting them do this. And I'm like, <laughs> whoa. What? And you made the worst kind of possible mistake Oops. that falls in, in defiance of both the game and storytelling. Wait, <laughs> is that a quotation? No, not literally a quote. But, but it, was it was pretty close. Definitely what he was saying. I need to read yeah. this. Uh, Here, I, I can read it out loud. Why yeah, not? Yeah, do it. I mean, it's I'm gonna take me a minute or two to get back to bed. So this is yeah, practically I'm bed. Read me a bedtime story, Wanda. But <laughs> bedtime <laughs> yeah. stories are people being shitty on the internet. Oh, God damn it! My fingers are too sweaty. I can't. Also, go to there bed, go. too. <laughs> hey, I'm read trying it, to read it. Read in bed so that. The I, I'm trying. Over. I'm trying to navigate Reddit while, uh, while walking home. I keep getting stuck on stuff. Surprising no one. Go to bed, Darf. You right. go to bed. I'm doing it. I mean, yes. I have a mutual. bed surprise. Okay, we here all we have go. to at the same time. All right. Uh, let's see. And thanks oh, to my wow. split screen video, everyone knows who the person is that's not in bed. This guy. I... Oh my go. god, this is so fucking long. It's really long. Okay. Read the it's, screen it's, it's of the like insane the, to me. It's like the ultimate example of you must be fun at parties. 15 feet radius by 300 feet, you say. So call it 5 meters by 100 meters for a cylinder of 20,000 meters cubed volume. Animals are slightly less dense than water, but let's just take the value of water because it's a nice, easy tw uh, oh, God, I already 20 million kilograms. Now, <laughs> the volume of a 1.5 foot diameter sphere is 0.4 meters cubed. Uh, 20 million kilograms in a 0.4 meters cubed is 50 million kilograms per meter cubed. Is that enough to undergo spontaneous fusion? Maybe. I don't know. The problem is with fusion... Most that... definitely that's enough. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How many uh, radium bars, by the way, is a pickaxe? Five. Six? Five. Uh, I don't shit. remember. Right. Shit. We have four. We might... We, uh, have, an, we no. have enough iridium ore. Here. I can yeah, I'll, I'll start. I'm working on it. Yeah. It will take a little while. But yeah. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, let's see. Short distraction oh, from... Oh, you need five ore. Oops. Where's our coal? I brought, I grabbed the coal and the ore, but you grabbed the other ore and I can't make a full stack. Oh, no, no, pro no problem. Let me just put this in the uh, in the chest then. I'm putting it in the green chest. Okay. I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, the problem with fusion is that the lower the temperature, the higher the pressure you need. But that's besides the point. Why? Because you just turned a giant monster into a tiny worm, violating conservation of mass energy is some pretty in some pretty huge ways. You're trying to have your cake and eat it too. You can't apply real-world rules yeah. to magic sometimes, not others. Especially when doing so has silly consequences like destroying your world. Also, Ball of Force cannot be moved. Once it's established, it's fixed. Your druid could not have thrown the Ball of Force down the pit. 
Druids do not get Wall of Force. He's actually right about this one. Keith is using D&D Wiki, which I told you not to do. That's uh, def you're definitely not. That's not true. I, I said that's it's literally the sword. I'm with... literally using the resource you gave me and said use this one. Really? Did yes. I? From oh, the beginning of the okay. campaign, you told me to use that exact website. I did. I did say it was unreliable, but yes, I might have actually. I might have actually done that. You okay, said not whatever. to use that one homebrew page thing that I was oh. that I looked at a few times. Okay, maybe that's, that's literally my problem. only resource for the campaign. I can find you a better one, or just a scan. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, so no druid subclass has does this either. How do the druid know wall of force? Okay, so whoops. The ruling for expanding creatures in too small of spaces is they're shunted out of space. Wall of Force even specifies this. Any creature that's stuck in a wall when the Wall of Force appears is pushed out either side. Which is kind of pointless because it was inside. Not yeah, the creature didn't appear. There was no the collision. Yeah, the, 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 there was no appearance involved in that collision. It grew inside. So yeah. it was already wrong. Yeah, and a single hydrogen bomb of that size would never have destroyed the whole planet. Let's do some math. The most efficient hydrogen bomb ever fused... 40% of the hydrogen, but you don't have a bomb. You have a squished creature as no neutron reactors or reflectors or other devices keeping the reaction going for longer. It'll very quickly blow itself apart, but most of the hydrogen will scatter, so your yield is probably closer to 1%. A normal creature is about 10% hydrogen by weight, so 0.1% of 20 million kilograms is 20,000 kilograms. That's a lot of hydrogen. The largest hydrogen bomb ever had... 340 kilograms of hydrogen in it and converted 2.33 kilograms of mass energy into a 50 megaton blast extrapolating that out you have 3,000 megaton or a 3 gigaton blast that's a very powerful explosion but it's only half the current nuclear stockpile in terms of damage your world is most certainly not destroyed and considering this was localized entirely in one area and the detonation was underground you won't even have a nuclear winter for sure, everything in a few hundred miles is going to have a bad time, but it's not nearly as apocalyptic as you think. But anyway, I usually say if everyone had fun, there's no harm in it. But in this case, you've done something really stupid. You've totally <laughs> destroyed your entire game. All of your NPCs, plot threads, heroes, villains, backstories, locations, maps, useless. Any connections the players had to the world or the story, gone. You now have to start a new game from almost entirely from scratch. Fact that it happened in a way that defies real world science, the conventions of fiction and storytelling, and the game rules only makes the matter worse. There's the part I quoted. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty close. Damn. Yeah. How many upvotes? He does literally that acknowledges thing have? the idea that we may have had fun, but our fun was wrong is actually a thing he <laughs> says at the end. Wow. I like Norm that's that's why this is so like, remarkable to me to some degree. You can't go like normally I say if everyone had fun, what? but like no, no, that's it's a it's a game. What? <laughs> Full stop. If everyone had fun, that's it. He would really struggle with like season one of Rick and Morty, where that exactly <laughs> happens. Where they literally change universes forever. If if okay. people want to uh to see this comment for themselves, just, just stock my Reddit account. Just you wander bots, super easy. Uh, uh, well, that's not just a theory, it's a it. well, actually. Where the hell is Oh, oh <laughs> god, I hate you. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, actually, you may have had fun, but that was no, wrong. Not that your it, was, yields. <laughs> it was an incredibly committed, well, actually. I've never seen yeah. that. But I wasn't, like... Fully paying attention, did that's fine. Did he basically, argue that uh, because the thing wasn't made out of like some radioactive material, that it wouldn't have behaved as a. He didn't argue a goddamn thing. It just was oh, a okay. thing. Because <laughs> like it, you know, any it was just smelling his own colliding. farts in basically, a really long spent Reddit year, post. He spent hours researching how the explosion would work to then be like, ah, I see you were wrong, and when you had to come up with an answer on the fly. Because that's uh, what people I mean, should be, do. And to be it's fair, just spend I'm pretty hours sure, researching. I'm pretty sure no one's sure of how that would work, even on paper. No, because it's an impossible situation. <laughs> like until it's you like one of those moments where Vsauce is like, "What if you were in a sphere that was entirely mirrors?" <laughs> Which is an actual episode of Vsauce that's real. Uh, well, I'm hooked. What would happen? <laughs> it's Vsauce is a strange show. <laughs> Uh, where would I find red slimes in the mines? At some point they decided to be almost uh, entirely impossible hypothetical. Or level 91, come down here, I'm fighting red slimes right now. Oh, okay. I don't want to deal with them, so if you could, that would make me a happy That's little a, Yeah, party. I have a quest to do that. 
specifically. So all right, kill these, <laughs> kill these fuckos. What is that? It, kill it. I don't care. I don't know. Care what it is? Just kill it. The good thing about a high luck is that there's just like a bunch of ore everywhere. The bad part about a high luck is there's no dirt anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't found a single scroll, and this is getting pretty maddening. What floors have you been going to? I'm on level 91. I'm on level 86 already. That's how little pro I just have not. Fa I found my first dirt to slow me down. Because <laughs> until the actual dirt shows up, you're just freaking floor hopping. That's true. It has That's not been true. showing up. Kill the slimy. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Thank you. So For I me, think it's just, I just like I, I, su I support uh, Wander making a call kind of on the fly because a uh, complicated answer to a question is why my other D and D campaign died. Oh, did you guys get oh, yeah. stuck on something? We were like, we're gonna do a heist, and he was like, oh shit. <laughs> I have a lot of setup and figuring out of things to do, and he was not prepared for that kind of. Complexity. It takes a lot to plan for that. Like I. I am never so. Uh, we are going to talk D and D, and Durf is just going to be collateral damage for this. Sorry, Durf. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, okay. There. So, for people that have not watched our D and D campaign, because there are probably quite a large number of you. Uh, okay. Oh no! Ma massive plot spoilers up. for the entire show. Yeah, I <laughs> not even like. Okay, so at yeah. one point, you guys are like kind of doing a heist thing on a train, and the reality of that situation was like so much work and planning that I used, I think, less than a tenth of it. Eventually, I was just like, just not, just not doing that again, I think. <laughs> I'm just, For us, every... we were playing that one, that one pre-made campaign, and we gave somebody a, a, a Oh, gave... yeah, going off script on those is bad. Yeah, we gave somebody uh, a dragon egg, and we're like, we're gonna steal that dragon egg now. And so we were planning a heist, and then we never met up again for that campaign. <laughs> Oops. Hey, yeah, I by the way, that's one of the hard things about using a module. Is that? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I. I every well, once it in a while. It might be was... more in, in terms of the fact that somebody playing a module probably doesn't isn't ready to make their own stuff on that scale. Right. And right. so the moment you go off script, you're like, I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, every once in a while I'll go to, like, a, a, a comic book, well, not a comic book store, like a game store, you know, a bunch of D&D &D books and whatnot, and I'm like, oh, hey, um, you know, of these, of, of these books, like, are any of them good? And I look at the adventure modules and I'm like, oh, these are so linear that if, like, somebody just stepped mildly out of line, I would more or less have to create a new campaign. Wow. Yeah, they are huh. relatively restrictive. There is like a, they have branches built into them, but it is definitely more like playing like a Bioware game than a tabletop game. Like, do you want to save the people or take the secret route out where you don't where you don't save them, but you're safer or something? Like, there's like, at most you'll get like a few options branching of whatever thing is the scenario. Hmm. And then it's up to the G GM to kind of the DM to, like, improv whenever, like, along the way to add the texture along the, to everything. But it's it's a, it's a weird feel. I've played a few of them now. Hmm. Well, I, for one, uh, uh, appreciate our very colorful interpretation of the laws of physics. <laughs> <laughs> the laws of ethics. And the laws of uh, narra and narration. Itself. Yeah, yeah. I, no, just, no, I no, just no. enjoyed the multi-layer revelation no. of, like, oh, that'll kill it. I, oh, wait, will that explode? Die? Oh, wait, that'll really explode. <laughs> oh, wait, how big will it explode? Oh, then the, yeah, we, the, we, the stages of, like, denial It was a real slow burn of like, of, like, how, of us coming to terms with how fucked we were. There was, we were yeah, there were stages of, like, denial and acceptance over, like, the consequences of what had occurred. Yeah. My I'm inventory is actually that filling... Doesn't care about D&D. &D. This is very fresh for us, and we really didn't get to, like, fully react. I'm sorry for anyone who doesn't care about D&D, &D, but you're wrong. Yeah, go watch it. It's so good. Just care about D&D &D in general. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what, uh, what four items did I lose? Uh, oh, there's no way of really knowing if you pass yeah, it Yeah, you, you don't, you if you don't have remember. an incredible memory of your inventory. 
Chances are it was probably stupid bullshit, unless it was Keith's obsidian sword. Oh no, it was my weapon. And, obsidian uh, edge. Oh, God. Y'all need to stop losing your weapons. Yeah. I didn't mean that that's an option. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah I, I feel like everything in your first... Parts of this game. I feel like everything in your first bar should be totally protected. I don't know. I feel like they just shouldn't make you lose items. Yeah. Or maybe... Yeah. Or, or maybe only make you lose resources, which is the thing you're doing the run for. Yeah, like you lose ore or something. Not Anything like that's tagged as a resource. Things that you care about. Alrighty, I'm gonna go back to bed. Uh... Uh, it is Wednesday, my dudes. I got, got it. <laughs> oh, got did you get it. the scroll? Yeah. Yes, thank you. That was the you. yellow paper came out. Yep, the yellow paper, that's the one we've been looking for. Awesome, Dude. we don't have to do that stupid thing anymore. Doing these rush jobs where I fly through the dungeon and just break a bunch of crates and hoe the floor a lot gives you such a variety of items that my inventory is actually constantly filling at three bars. Neat. All right, I'm Talk gonna be right to... back. I'm gonna take out my contacts. My eyes is dry. Goodbye. Talk to Lewis. Oh, it was nice way, knowing Keith... you, but now you're dead, I guess. Uh, Keith, the um, oh. the iridium bars are done. So uh, oh, you yeah. Are... You now we can begin the pickaxe. slow process of getting the ability to eventually have that. Yeah. That, that guy works at his own pace. <laughs> yeah, he does. And then he shuts down his entire shop in the process. I'm going to go make sure I crack my geodes first this time. Uh, where's Lewis? No idea, but it's 12.20 a.m., dude. No, I'm already in bed. I'm just wondering oh. about tomorrow. Uh, Lewis is the, the homeless dude, yeah? Um, okay. Yeah, so he he's just up at the um uh he's just up at his camp usually. Some bird didn't climb in bed, did he? Uh-oh. Oh, he has um I'm at the bus stop. Oh, oh, Keith Keith is running back. Okay. Yeah, I just warped in. <laughs> I I was just like, "Oh no, bird didn't go to bed." Bud, and it's just <laughs> What have you done, bird? <laughs> 